Good morning, YouTube friends. How's everybody doing today? Well, it's morning for me anyway. So I got something in the mail today, and that's this RVA Flips coffee mug. So this is from Justin over at RVA Flips. And I think I managed to move just enough cups up there where I can stick it up here on the end. All right. So that's my reseller's wall and door, I guess, if you want to say. So I'm getting it. I got it full. So if I get any more, I'm going to have to start making some shelves. Also, we got something else in the mail yesterday. So I'm going to throw a clip in of that that Kim opened because it was a box of that I, well, I got it from her. So from Redneck Resale, Colton and Courtney. So I'm gonna add that real quick, right about now. All right, so we got a box in the mail today. Hi, say hi, Kim. Hi. <laughs> well, we got a box in the mail today and I thought I'd have Kim open it since I got this from Colton at Redneck Resale and I got this for her and she doesn't know what it is. And even the dogs are out here look in anticipation. Look, Chrissy. Look, Chrissy, mama's got a pride. Look, hey, Chrissy, where's Penny? Penny. 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 Look at me. Hi. Hey Penny. Penny. Oh, she's so excited. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna I'm gonna let Kim open the box so she can see what she got. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> yeah, you don't I'm not real good at this. You're usually the box opener. Yeah. Oh, it's windy. All right, what's inside the box? Let's, let's look inside the box. What do you got? A box, in, box. a box in a box. I'm so excited, I got a box. We got a box in a box. Well, it's definitely packaged very good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's another box now. <laughs> <laughs> another box inside a box. All right. It's got what is that? Meat thermometers. Well, you must have thrown stone those in there. Wow. Well, that was nice. All right, little nice. extra added bonus. All right, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Does this mean I got to cook? Yeah, it means you. Oh. Got, it means she's got to cook now. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> and oh, I like the cards. Cards, nice. They're so cute. That's Colton and Courtney over at Redneck Resale. So if you haven't watched their channel, check them out. Says Roy and Kim, thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all have shown us. We are very grateful to call y'all friends, and we look forward to meeting you too. And if you ever need anything, I'm a phone call away. Redneck Resale, Colton and Courtney. Courtney. Oh, thank you guys. That's, That's awesome. Really That's awesome. All right, let's see what's in the. I package. love that you say y'all, cause I say y'all too. Y'all. <laughs> That's cause uh -oh. you. That's. <gasps> oh. It's got rocks. I love rocks. I do. I love rocks. I know. There's a reason there's a rock. Oh, there's a reason? There's a reason there's rock. Okay. This is one of our steak knives. Yeah, it's one of our <laughs> Uh-oh. It's upside down. All right. Oh, my gosh. Careful. It's a, a toy, right? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. I love fish. I think there's actually another part to it. But Is it? Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, right here. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. There's another part to it right there. You know I love fish and... Yeah. Like yeah. So you can put it on top, you can... So the way they had it was little with the rocks poured around there, or you yeah, put a candle down candle. there, or something like that. So look at this! Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you guys so much, and thank you, honey, for buying it. <laughs> You're welcome. I love All right, it. so that's what we got. Was an, that's what I got her is another fish. <laughs> Hold on, do that again. <laughs> See what? Nope, not happening, dude. Yep, I'm out. All right. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. It's, it's definitely my thing here. <laughs> yeah. And you can tell because we've got all kinds of things you can see. We've got the little skimboards I hung up there. We've got the fishes up here. 
Got these cute little frogs. And this guy, well, he's supposed to be fishing right here. You got the little fish, little frogs. You can just see how, how it is. We got the little like boards. Dolphin. You can see that? Yeah, the dolphin. We got we got more fish and beach decor all the way around back there, all the way through Kim's garden. So what I you love think? It. Thank you. Alright, so that's this part of the video. So we'll go ahead and get to some real real parts in the video. <laughs> all right. Bye guys, thank you. Oh my god. Alright, so I went to the thrift shop the other day. And I didn't show you because I didn't take you into the thrift shop with me. I didn't have the video camera. Well, I had the video camera, but it was so noisy, crowded, and music that I figured it was just best just not to try to record anything. So I went ahead and picked up a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, when I'm talking about a bunch of stuff, I talked about a bunch of stuff. I actually stayed in there for quite a while. These are some of the things I'm listing today. Uh, just some stuff I picked off. And what was really good was that... It was a half off day sale on these orangish reddish tags. So everything I picked up had these orangish red tags. So it was half off price. It was totally awesome. I picked up the old backgammon set, the jig we saw crossword. This is actual puzzle. There's a game, the old Logitech microphone. Now it's not going to be a lot of money, but I, they're selling for about $15. Picked up all these universal remote controls. Uh, those right there are all $12 a piece easily. Uh, even these little walker coasters that you put on the end of walkers uh that's another 12 13 dollar bill picked up these boggs rain boots these right here are about a 29.99 dollars plus shipping i mean just a bunch of stuff and when i'm talking about a bunch of stuff i'm talking about a bunch now i don't know how well you're going to see it because it may get a little it may be dark out here but right down in here and you can't count this and you can't count that bucket right there but all that stuff is what I picked up at the thrift shop. I mean, I had almost two buggies full. And that's just full of games and toys and stuff that's still new in the boxes. Okay, some things aren't. There's an old mask. That mask right there says Made in Ghana. That right there I looked up. That's a $50 bill right there. Old frying pan. Uh, made in France frying pan. I'll, I'll just bags and bags and bags of stuff and i don't want to get out of there because i know it's dark so you can't really see me but i got a lot to just a lot to work on now so i, I really got to get to it but this is just one of the things i pulled out of a bag a couple of bags that i started working on i'm going to go ahead and start listing this stuff and then start digging in that pile but i just i wanted to show you that if you go to your local thrift shop and you can hit them half off day sales, especially right there, man. They must have just went ahead and started just pulling everything out from the back or picked up or got a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know, but it was a really good find. So I'm going to list all that. And I think while I'm, I think while I'm listing that, I'm going to go ahead and put a what sold to this part of the video so you can see what sold today. All right, we'll come over here to the B2 bin. And inside here is some Patriots golf balls. Yeah. These sold for $6.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, we'll go over to C1. And in the back, sold this Snow White Cinderella Princess type coffee mug. Uh, this was a good find. This sold for $6.95 plus shipping. I got another wonderful YouTube friend sale. This is another RK Treasure Center coffee mug. This one's going out to Joe. Joe, I really appreciate the purchase. Joe has an eBay store called JoJo's Treasure Chest. So if you get a chance, I'll put a little picture right here so you can see it. But go check out Joe's Treasure Chest, JoJo's Treasure Chest, and see what all there is in the store. Give him some support. But thank you, Joe, for the purchase. I really appreciate it. I hope this coffee mug brings you some good luck. All right. Reach up here. We sold this Longer Burger basket. This is a wall hanging longer burger basket. And of course right there it says longer burger from 1989. It's really nice. Um, and it sold for $10 and 20 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. Back here in the back of this bin, there's not much in here. Sold this Darling Bee costume, although it's not Halloween right now or around that time, but it's a nice costume to wear at any time. Sold this on sale for $15.30 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, so I'll come over here to the K2 bin. And inside here somewhere is supposed to be, and I don't know if it is or not. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, way back here in the back on the bottom, 
is a Trivial Pursuit game. This is a thrift shop find. This sold for $12. All right, so the next sale is over here in this S1 bin. And I'll show it to you real quick. Here, let me pull it out. Now, if you look, here's this pillow I'm pulling out. This is what's sold. But see those Cogs boots right there? Well, I just got through listing those Cogs boots. And when I put them in that bin, I saw this pillow. This pillow I picked up at a consignment shop. And I've had it for a little while and it hadn't sold. So I went ahead and did what I said in a video or two ago, about two videos ago, and showed you how to, told you about how updating your listings. What did you say? That's what I'm trying to say. Well, this is a Ralph Lauren pillow. Um, you can see the design on it. And it's, I don't know if you can see in the plastic, but it says Ralph Lauren. But this is a Ralph Lauren pillow. I kind of thought it was going to sell a little bit faster. It's a single pillow. A lot of people like doubles, so they can put it on both ends of a couch or something like that. But this one still sold for $34.99. So, really good sale. And if it wasn't for updating that listing, it probably would have been still sitting on the shelf. Okay, we'll come over here to the J3 bin. And not much in there. It's this here. Yeah. Okay. This is a... I don't know if you see it. This is a vintage baby crib sheet it's that vinyl plastic sheet back from who knows i mean you can look at the design and the coloring i don't exactly know so i can't tell you maybe 70s ish late 60s probably probably 70s vinyl 70s that coloring 70s but this is a vinyl crib sheet or blanket and it's from woolworth it's called patty cake it's white and this sold for 18 dollars. it was a thrift shop find and it sold for $18 plus shipping. All right, we'll come over here to the F1 bin. And we're looking there. Yeah. All right, you're not gonna be able to see what this is, so let me explain to you. This is a little tiny bowl from Stratford, England, and it has three flowers on top. I'll show the picture right here so you can kind of see it. But it's got little, three little flowers on top. It's porcelain. It's just a little tiny, like trinket bowl. Uh, was really nice. I had it on sale. Let's go check out the price what I had it for. I had it sold for eight dollars and forty six cents, and the buyer paid the shipping. So still got it out the door. I think I paid a quarter for it. It's really nice. All right, so I sold another Froggy Flips Finds for Fun. In other words, if you've been watching my videos, you know what I'm talking about. I sold another remote control. So let me show it to you real quick. Uh, number one forty. This is a Phillips remote control. This uh, Phillips remote control uh, was one of those out of the box sale from Froggy Flips, Anthony over at Froggy Flips. Uh, bought a box of remote controls and stuff off of him. I sold this one for, what did I sell it for? $11.99. So selling this one now brings my total of profit, or profit over $100. So really glad to sell this. All right, well, sometimes there's a controversy amongst resellers about a Rolo printer a 4XL printer, a Zebra printer, or even like this, HP or Canon inkjet printer. That's the HP printer. But it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, works for you. But I'm going to tell you, I love my Rolo printer. <laughs> it's pretty nice. What's not to like about that? Printing all the labels off at one time. All right, so I got everything packaged up, taken out to this truck, got one more sale, and it's inside this box, and this literally is a box of boxes. This is a box of called Bob's Boxes, or it's seven nesting boxes, and I'll show you a picture. There's seven nesting boxes that fit inside each other. Each one has an antique game board design on the outside of the box. And they sold for $30, $39.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. Really good sale. Happy to make all these sales today. I want to appreciate everybody that watches the videos. If you haven't yet subscribed, be sure you subscribe. Um, also, if you haven't clicked that notification bell so you know when our videos come out, click that notification bell to all so that that way you'll get informed anytime a new video comes out. Well, I thank everybody for watching. To all the resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. To all the subscribers, viewers, and everybody that just stumbled across this channel, hey, have a great day. Take care. Be safe and be kind to one another. Bye-bye.